if you haven't liked or commented or subscribed, you are a goddamn fucking terrorist. And they talk like Iron Giant, need a hanger for these racks. Fuck the beef, it's crunch time, turn them niggas to a pack. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Phil. Today I'm gonna show you how. Oh, fuck. Goddamn, going too fast. Today I'm gonna show you how to do a uh, mid drop fade. And, um, yeah, I'm just gonna put my ball guideline in here, slant it a little bit. As you can see, I went at an angle just to drop it just a little bit to give it a little curve pizzazz to the fade. You know what I'm saying? Not just straight, like straight around the head. And, uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna speed this up. I just comb the hair all the way around and on the top, and then boom, put the ball guideline in and ball guideline in. Make sure y'all comb the hair before y'all start cutting it. Comb the hair, comb the hair pretty well because it's gonna make the fade come out better. Trust me, you may not, if you're a beginner or whatever, or even if you've been cutting for a minute and you start to um, like, like cut before you fade, you might think that like, it's just a normal fade like how it looks but it's gonna look way better to the trained eye trust me if you comb the hair and detangle it and let it lay down like you know what I'm saying get them all flowing in, in the right direction laying down instead of like napped up just comb the hair out boom and then you put in your ball guideline about half an inch you know what I'm saying I'll make it a little higher in the back because it's going to uh, yeah, I just take I take it up a little bit higher in the back sometimes instead of keeping it even because the fade just looks better. I don't know. And then I put a, a one and a half on one and a half guard, and I cut down all the head. I mean, all the hair around the head. Now we're gonna get into the fade, y'all. What I do when I fade is called fading down. So I start with my highest guard first. This is a one and a half. I go all the way open. As you can see, I'm all the way open at the top of his, going to the top of his head. And um, boom, I just cut all that hair, cut all the hair until it's even, you know what I'm saying? An even consistency, even flow, even fucking blend, you know what I'm saying? Now you can, let's see what I do. Yeah, I went all the way close. So when I fade down, I either go, the easiest way to do it is just go open and then go close. So I went open just before, and then I went right underneath a little bit um, where I was all the way open at, and I closed the guard all the way. And then what I'm gonna do after that is grab a one guard, and I'm gonna open it all the way up, go a little bit below that one and a half close, fade that flick in that area, flick, flick, flick. Then I'm gonna close this one and go a little bit below the one or open where I'm already at and that's all you do you just work your way down and you move down a little bit every time you uh, uh, swap guards open and then close it move it down uh, move down in the fade a little bit every time so boom I'm right one close right here a little bit below where I was one all the way open and then after this I'm gonna put the only time I don't go all the way open is when I put a zero guard on. I'm going to go put the zero guard on now, and I go halfway. I go halfway, close, and then I close it all the way up. And remember, every time you swap guards out, you want to go a little bit lower than where you was before. So I'm halfway, a little bit below where I was when closed, and then I close it all the way right now, like I am right now. And I go a little bit below the halfway open or the halfway close zero guard. And then you just keep working your way down. Now I'm gonna go no uh, no guard at all. Open up the blade all the way, a little bit below where I was with the zero close, and I'm just gonna fade out in that area, the little top guideline I put in. And the thing about fading down, you only you really use one guideline. That's the all the way open or the first guideline you put in. Um, you can either go all the way open or sometimes I go like halfway close to put my first guideline in. But in this video, I went all the way open. And so I'm going to go all the way open and start fading it out. And then I'm going to go halfway close, a little bit below that. And then I'm going to go all the way close and just flick at the bottom guideline and get that out. And so, yeah, man. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. And that's it. It's really that. It is really that simple. That easy, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. The more you cut, the more you will be able to get the blending process down. It's really easy. It's really nothing else to say. That's how simple it is. That's all I'm thinking about when I'm cutting. 
and once I get that bottom guideline out, uh, sometimes I'll go back with a trimmer and get it, uh, hit it, at it some more, like the the very bottom, so it can get any uh, any um, like lines, get the line, the ball guideline line completely out. And so what I'm doing now is just how I detail real quick. I just open my guard all the way up. I hit any uh, dark spots in the fade that I feel like need to get out of there, and I'll close it halfway and I'll uh, do the same thing. Then I go all the way close again, just flicking out that bottom guideline a little bit more, trying to uh, get that to, you know, get out of there. And so, sometimes you may see me go back into the fade, uh, just picking that little stuff. You know, um, once you start cutting longer and longer, you're gonna, open, you're gonna play with the lever and you're gonna start uh, just going at little inconsistencies in the fade, little uh, dark spots. That you feel like need to be taken out and you'll be playing with the lever i'm just trying i'm trying to keep the lever play to a minimum in my uh tutorials so y'all don't be like because when i first started cutting i saw my uh shop owner doing that shit like playing with the lever all the time and i'm like how the fuck what are you doing like that's like you're not following steps you're just opening you're going back and forth throughout the whole thing and you're just hitting shit but you'll get to that as long as you've been cutting I, i'll do it now but I just try to keep it to a minimum during the videos. And so what I did right here, I just went all the way open back at the top with a one and a half because I felt like it was kind of dark up there. I just was just fading at uh, the very, very top in the Mac, trying to get a lot of that, some of that bulk out. Then I get my trimmer. And like I said, I'm just going to the bottom of the fade to get that ball guideline completely out of there as much as possible. And then I'll be done with that side pretty much unless I want to, you know what I'm saying, open my blade up or go no guard and hit some hit some little spots but i think that is it well no i did do that yep and when i'm doing when i'm um fading without a camera uh i might do a lot of lever play you know what i'm saying like i said when i'm detailing um but you don't have to but uh, yeah you, you you'll you'll pick it up more and more as you you know what i'm saying as y'all along y'all barber journey as y'all get better and better you know what i'm saying don't 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 get like too caught up feeling like damn i can't cut man because guess what man you're gonna get there it's just process you gotta keep 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 on keeping on you know what i'm saying and so i do the exact same thing on this other side one and a half all the way open one and a half closed go a little bit below the one and a half open one guard open a little bit below the one and a half closed one guard close a little bit below the one guard open zero guard halfway close a little bit below the one guard close and then zero guard close underneath the zero guard halfway close and i go all the way open with my blade uh no guard and then like i'm doing right now and then i go halfway close right below that and i'm gonna go all the way close all the way at the bottom at the bottom guideline at the bottom ball line whatever the fuck you want to call it and so boom and then i'll go back open all the way halfway cl closed and all the way closed and i just detail boom 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 and uh it's really that simple then i did the exact same thing at the top again i just went all the way open and uh kind of faded that area a little bit more right there i can tell i'm closed because i went a little bit below my open i'm just uh taking that bulk out opening and closing at the top a little bit more and then uh, just a little bit more detailing with the with the with the one and a half boom boom boom. Nah, I went back. I went back and did the whole uh, process all the way over on this side because that's if you really want to detail really really good, that's what you would do um, probably. And um, I just repeated the whole process like I was like I hadn't even cut it already because I felt like it was way lighter on the other side. Cause for some reason, like the hair on his, like his haircut is, it'd be a darker on this side. But anyways, I just wanted to go back over it so it can lighten up. And I did the whole process all the way over. And uh, that's what, that's what I'm doing here. But yeah, there's nothing else to it. I'm not doing nothing else different. I'm just doing the same thing. I went one and a half open, one and a half closed, right under the one and a half and yeah. Y'all should get the process by now. But boom, we're gonna do the same thing on the back side, y'all. Man, I'm trying to fucking get these uploads up, man. I'm not gonna, I'm, I can't go out like no fucking pump. I'm trying to fucking triple dipple 
and triple double chocolate swirl dip upload to these goddamn platforms not platforms but platform youtube just one singular every single day and uh i just wanna i just wanna treat this shit like a job man you know what i'm saying like it, i want it to be like a fucking job i don't care about the fucking money i just want to fucking know that i'm uploading you know dude like i i feel like i'm supposed to be like the new iCarly of this haircutting shit with this with this with this online internet shit you know all i'm missing is a is a pair a pair phone and a fucking pair top whatever the fuck they call those laptops you know but um yeah i'm just doing the same process in the back and y'all just uh like comment subscribe make sure y'all do that right now just if y'all made it this far in the video comment ding dong take me out to dinner y'all remember that joe biden shit last year shit was fucking crazy i forgot he's a fucking president right now i don't even think about that shit but anyways do y'all want um a underwater haircut video challenge no i'm just playing i, I don't even know how i fucking do that i need some underwater clippers or some waterproof clippers or uh, I don't know. I feel like that shit would electrify the fuck out of me and whoever I'm cutting, and I wouldn't be able to upload no more because we'd be fucking dead. But uh, anyways, I'm just trying to think of video ideas, and um, not just video ideas. I just want to, you know, upload every day and shit like that. But probably gonna try to do a drunk goggle video. There's a barber battle coming up in Biloxi, Mississippi, which is on the coast of Mississippi, which is where I stay. Um. And uh, that's going to be in like September. That's the end of, the, of September, like September 24th. But uh, yeah, man, it will. We're going to be posting every day. Until then, you know. Sorry about yesterday. I couldn't post because the fucking, the fucking camera and shit. Well, my phone wasn't downloading the videos from iMovie. It was taking too fucking long. I woke up early and I went back to sleep because the shit wouldn't download. But yeah man i just want to see what it feels like to upload you know what i'm saying a lot for like at least a year not fucking at least like i want to try to just make this shit a lifestyle but um that sounds so fucking weird i don't even i don't know i'm not even i'm not even trying to be like fucking you know, i don't know i just want to try to make that shit like normal like just a part of my day you know what i'm saying like i don't fuck the views fuck the fucking fuck the likes fuck the comments but make sure you like comment subscribe and um watch all the way through <laughs> but uh i just wanna i just wanna i just wanna be a millionaire so freaking bad but anyways uh, I spent them around a little bit just to see what I was looking at, like what the fade was looking at. I saw a little, a little like a little line right there, and I made sure I went around the head with the with the trimmer just to get that ball line guideline out all the way. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have time. You don't have time just just fucking hit every little thing. You know what I'm saying? You're you're trying to you're trying to get a person in and out within 30 to 45 minutes. So people people don't care, man. People don't care like that. Just give them decent cut, man. You know what I'm saying? Decent cut. I'm saying uh, it may not be the exact same on each side. Fuck it, yeah. Just give them a cut. You can put it. Up, you know what I'm saying? So then I'm gonna line up. I just comb it out, and um, I'm gonna knock it down with a one and a half or a little bit more because I went over with a one and a half in the beginning, the whole head. And I don't want to go any lower than that because um, it's kind of uh, light on the right side, as y'all can see right there. Um, the right side that we're looking at, not his actual right side. But anyways, after that, uh, I put the holding spray on, and uh, I use Tresemme holding spray, four or five, the any kind, whatever you want to use. And then uh, blow it off with the blow dryer. Then I start from the middle with my trimmer, come back, you know what I'm saying, boom, in the middle. I went all the way to the left side first. I probably should have went to the right side. Well, I should have went to the right side because it's, you know what I'm saying, it's lighter. And you can match that side easier with the side with more hair but since i'm kind of experienced it's only my second year in the shop but i just don't give a fuck i just you know what i'm saying just line his ass up <laughs> just start from the middle and go from the left or to the right either either side you want to i recommend probably trying going with the the you know what i'm saying the receding side first but yeah just boom boom then i get to the edge where his hair is growing out vertically stay on the edge of the lineup don't push him back 
you just want to stay right on the when i like like i said in all my videos when i first started cutting i see like people be talking about in their videos keep it on the edge um they mean like a millimeter or two in they don't actually mean like the very edge because you're not gonna fucking line shit up like that but yeah so go into the hair actual cut the hair and you want to do that for the whole lineup the whole entire lineup that is how you do it folks that's how you do it so um yeah stand on the edge of that hair going naturally where it where it where it lines up at you know it it, it kind of goes out vertically like that so i'm gonna line it up vertically like that i mean i slant it like that you know what i'm saying and um yeah that's a pretty nice looking fade if i do say so myself you know what i'm saying damn camera focus <laughs> giving you a hard time is that blurry for you is that fade that blurry <laughs> you can't focus camera i know this guy he doesn't line up his beard he uh, so um anytime people don't line up their beards i don't live them uh like walking out the shop with like a fucking block like a box style fucking beard like that at the top i just fade it in for him i go all the way open with um most well it depends on how much hair they got i can tell how thin it is go all the way open then i go halfway close and i went all the way close for him but I just go up a little bit higher every time i close the guard and um yeah i can tell i didn't need really a one for his hair on his face because you're just gonna be able to tell the more you've been cutting you know what i'm saying his hair is not that thick where i needed a one all the way open and closed and all the way open with no guard halfway closed no guard all the way closed no guard just remember every time you close it just go up a little bit and um you'll be good he doesn't get enhancement i use my phone here because if you look if you actually use your phone to look at a lineup it's going to be able to show you a lot better if the lineup straight or not um just like your mirror but um sometimes like me uh the mirror in my natural eye just don't i don't know just don't do me justice sometimes i have to use that phone i whip out that phone look at it through that lineup i do that a lot and um you can actually see if it's straight or not like that uh, a lot better well at least i can you you'll be able to see it um you know how like in pictures you can see like the lineup's not straight um but when you cut it in person look straight that's how it's gonna look when you look at your camera anyways i just put the pencil on him he doesn't get the black spray um and yeah this is the uh final fucking product thank you guys for watching so much so fucking much thank you guys like comment and subscribe i can't fucking stress that enough if you haven't liked or comment or subscribe you are a goddamn fucking terrorist black and white diamonds man my wrist should be on black on my bracelets and watches on my arms i look